top ten TV shows Ugh. of 2017. Hey, I'm so excited to share my top ten TV shows of 2017 list with you. Hopefully, give you some new shows to binge. So, just a little preamble here. I watch so many shows. I make it my business to watch as much as I can that's on the air right now because I love storytelling. It's a passion of mine. So, if a show isn't on this list at all, that doesn't mean that I haven't watched said show. It just means that I liked other shows better. This was a tough top ten list. I had a hard time putting these in order. That being said, are we ready? Let's do this. <laughs> my honorable mentions. Girl boss. I really, really enjoyed this Netflix show. Got super pumped at the end for the new season and then learned it got canceled. The Good Place with Kristen Bell. This is a weird show, but I had so much fun watching it. At first I was like, what am I watching? But then it started to like really get in my head and get me thinking. It was weird and I liked it. New Girl. New Girl has been on for ages. I always enjoy watching 13 Reasons Why. I feel, I love 13 Reasons Why, but I feel like it doesn't really fit on a top 10 TV show list. The 100. The 100 is always fantastic. Then last on the honorable mentions list is a new show and that is Big Little Lies on HBO. This was fantastic. And that is it for our honorable mentions section. Menchies. Mentions. It's time for the big boys now. I'm gonna work my way up from 10 to 1. Let's just know that like I love every single one of these shows so much. So much. I love the honorable mentions a lot. These are on such a high level that they're not like separated so much. They're all like up here like really close together like layers of deli meat. You know there's not much in between them because they're all so good. 10 10 10 to 10 to 10 10 10 10. Ten. I have a really new show that instantly jumped onto my list. Like it instantly bumped something off because I loved it so much. Instantaneously. And that is mm, the bold type. Yeah, have you even, have you heard of it? There's only like five episodes out so far. I love each one of them so much. I love the script and I love the cast and I love the way it makes me feel. And I just love it. I can't believe the show's on Freeform. I almost didn't watch it. Freeform shows tend to be a little more on the cheesy side. This show is not like the other. I'm so impressed. I've already laughed and cried and swooned so hard. I relate. So I just, it's so good. I think most of you by now have watched Stranger Things. I made a whole video about loving Stranger Things. Stranger Things is weird and like a little scary. I was a little scared the whole time, but oh, it's so good. The cinematography, the way the story arcs, the characters, the mystery. Second season is coming October 30th. I love all the kids in it. Like the kid actors are fantastic. And if you are scared, it never gets that scared. It's just the ambiance. <laughs> Crazy ex-girlfriend. So if you're here last year, you might know that Crazy Ex-Girlfriend was like number two on my list. Why has it dropped so much? Well, like I said, these these numbers, these layers, these favorites are like deli meat. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend is a comedy on the CW. Each episode has one to two musical numbers that like integrate with the story. It's the best. It's so club. And I'm so excited for season three. Season two ended so strong. <laughs> Jane the Virgin. Another show on the CW that's so well written. It's so funny. It makes me giddy all the time. It's a telenovela it's written in the most self-aware, hilarious way. It's when you watch a soap opera, you look at it like, huh, like that would ever happen. When you watch Jane the Virgin, it feels like such a grounded show. And it's not until you like zoom out, like, oh my god, this is a telenovela. Like the writers are so cheeky about it. I love it. I could rave about Jane all day. It's on Netflix. Please watch it if you haven't yet. Coming in at number six, Orphan Black. Could it not have Orphan Black on the list? It's in its final season. It blows me away all the time. It's definitely a show that's much more fun binge watch because there are a lot of little things that you will forget if you don't watch in a timely manner, but it's on Amazon Prime. It's easily accessible and it's so good. <laughs> Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, holy shit, Game of Thrones. The final season of Game of Thrones just started. It was divided into two seasons, okay? But it's the final season. A season of six episodes and a season of eight. Now that there's an end point, shit is going down every episode. It's just so good. All the things we've always wanted to happen. We've been waiting for it for so long. Like, 
and it's so good. If you haven't watched it yet, I don't know what you've been doing. Like, it's going kind to of pop culture phenomenon. Game of Thrones happens and the whole world is talking about it on Twitter. And then the next day, everyone's talking about it in real life. It's like when the final season of Breaking Bad was on. Do you remember that? Everyone was talking about it in real life and the digital space. And so many of the female characters are just fucking killing it. I'm so here for this. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, 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 bum. Coming in at number four. My number four this year is none other than Survivor. A lot of times I don't put Survivor on this list, or I do think that maybe I do, but I never put it too high. The fact of the matter is, if I'm honest with myself, Survivor is just such a priority for me. There are shows where I'll be like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to miss that and I'll binge them together. Survivor is never one of those shows. Like, I can never miss it. And then just like, let them pile up. I watch that show the day it airs or the morning after, and that's it. It doesn't go any further than that. If I miss it, the fear of getting spoiled is so strong. I find, I find a way to get that show. And it's pretty easy because CBS.com is really good about getting them up super quickly. So I usually don't have a hard time at all. I love the social game. I love watching the physical game. I love watching the strategies unfold. I just love this show. And if you've never given it a shot, a lot of the seasons are on Amazon Prime. So if you want to binge one, if you want to get a feel for Survivor, highly recommend. My personal favorite seasons are the ones when they bring back all stars from other seasons. But to really appreciate those, you have to watch the other seasons first. You can Amazon Prime that shit. <laughs> We're down to the final three. These were hard slots. One, two, three, coming in at number three. <laughs> the Handmaiden's Tale. Oh my God, this show is so good. It's a heavy show, but it's so good. Every episode left me so excited to watch the next I one. honestly, I wish I had the whole first season to binge all at once. I binged the first three and then I had to watch week to week, but now the whole first season's out. And I cannot wait for more. It, it makes you feel so much. It's, it's terrifying. Like the state of the world we're living in, in this show is terrifying. But watching this woman maneuver through it is so inspiring and so empowering. And it's so hard for her. And you feel so much. It, the way it's shot is so excellent. Oh, it's so art. I just sit there watching it. Like, oh my, just so impressed all the time. Elizabeth Moss is the lead. It's on Hulu. Did I say that? Hulu, it's a Hulu original series. Highly, highly recommended. I did not read the book, but I heard the book actually ends where the series ends. It's definitely not for youngins. So if you feel like you're a youngin and you're not ready for the intensity of this show, I wouldn't watch it yet. But if you can watch it, you should watch it. So many feels. <laughs> Comment in at number two. Westworld. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love Westworld was like I could it was really hard to decide on number one But I, I had to go with my heart. This is like right up there though The first season of Westworld is out and I watched it in December I binge watched it all together It was like a new loss. It was so thought-provoking from the very beginning I was trying to figure it out and you know how I love a show like that like Lost is my favorite show of all time I know I've said this before I have a whole video about Westworld if you want to watch me talk about it longer But it, it's a piece of art it just comes together in the most beautiful way I just have nothing but good things to say about it I'm already rewatching it, okay? I've been taking like intense notes and like writing down new theories and like catching new things now that I'm going through it the second time. New things that I can't believe I miss. You have to watch it. There's this park called Westworld where really wealthy people go on vacation. Where you go and you pretend basically that you're living in the 1860s. It's so interesting and so well done and thought provoking and just, it's so good. It's, it's just so good. It's so good. The trailer for season two was just released and so, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! And last but not least, my favorite show of 2017. This is us, my heart. Just thinking about it right now gets me feeling emotional. This is a show on NBC. Again, there's only one season. Like I have a lot of new shows on my top 10 list this year. This has been an amazing year for TV. So many first season shows have been absolutely amazing. This is us. It just blows me away every episode. A lot of my friends personally who haven't watched it yet haven't watched it because they're like, oh, it looks really sad. Yeah, there are sad moments, but like it's so funny and it's so heartwarming and uplifting. It's a roller coaster just like life's a roller coaster, and I love the way the story's told. I love all the characters, and Milo Ventimiglia's character is my favorite. I just, 
I every episode I end up in tears and it's not necessarily because it's sad it's because it really hits me in the feels in every way I've shed so many happy tears so many proud tears so many like warm fuzzy tears it's all about family and those relationships and how they change over the course of your life mm, it's everything that makes me feel things and the cast is fantastic I watched it week to week I could not wait for every new episode every holla, 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 holla recommend and that Ladies and gentlemen, is my top 10 TV shows list for 2017. Was it what you expected? I feel like it was really unexpected. These new shows really shook up my list. I'd love to hear what your favorite shows are right now. I'm obviously always looking for new stuff to watch. I'm Christine. Thank you so much for watching. I make videos every Tuesday. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I'm at xteenmate. All my links to all my different social media stuff is in the description below. I will see you next time. Goodbye!